So for this question, I have a window that's shaped like this. And in the and the frame of the window is something expensive. I don't know why. But you no. Know, contractors they just charge you whatever they want to. You have no choice, right? Okay, um, so it says that the frame of this window cannot exceed, so frame cannot exceed a total of six meters. And then it asks us to figure out the dimensions of the window where the area of this window is the maximum. So they want to have the maximum area of the window. So would frame be perimeter? Hmm? Would the frame be the perimeter? <coughs> yeah, frame will end up being the perimeter. Okay. Now, because they want us to model this as a semicircle and a rectangle, they gave us two things. So one is the radius of this semicircle, and then height h of this, this rectangular part. Now, if this is this is the radius, what's this length? Two r. Two r. It'll be two r, right? Yeah. Because this is r, that's r, so diameter is two r. Therefore, this should be two. All right. Now let's try to find the surface, the the, the area of this thing. So s. Um, what's the area of this? So I'll do this plus the semicircle. So two r plus h. Times H. Two R times H for the first one, and for the second one, half, half of pi R squared. Pi R squared. Okay. Now the perimeter has to uh, can't exceed six, and because uh, we, we're trying to maximize it, we probably want all of the six, right? Now what's the perimeter of this object? So uh, perimeter is this plus this, right? That's the perimeter, right? And uh, this much is h. This is 2r. So that's h. So that's, that's this part. What about this part? Half of 2 pi r, yes. 2 pi r is the circumference, and you take the half. And 1 half and 2 cancels. Therefore, you have 2r plus 2h <coughs> plus pi r. What is this equal to? What should it equal to? Six. Six. It has to be equal to 6. OK, what's our objective function, target function? Uh, We're trying to maximize the area, so this, this is the target. What's our constraint? Perimeter. What do we do now? To solve for. Solve the constraint? Yeah. For, I think h is easier, right? I think h is easier. We only have one h. <coughs> So let's move everything to the other side. 6 minus 2r minus pi r equals to 2h. And divide by 2 to give you 3 minus r. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2r divided by 2 is just r. Pi r divided by 2 is pi over 2r. That's your h. What do you do after this? plug it back into your objective function so that objective function becomes a function of a single variable. Okay. And let's see, so s is now 2r times 3 minus r minus pi over 2r, and then plus 1 half pi r squared. Okay, let's simplify this by multiplying things out. So you have 6r minus 2r squared. 2 over 2 is 2, 2 cancels, so it's, it's minus pi r squared. 
and then plus one half pi r squared. And I see these two being like terms, right? So those are like terms, so we put them together. So 6r minus 2r squared minus 1 half pi r squared. Now that's your target function. Now we differentiate it as prime is 6 minus 4r minus pi, pi r. OK? And you set this equal to 0. <coughs> Now, if you have an equation, a first order equation, the powers are one, right? This is a linear equation in R, but with more than one R's, what you do, what you want to do is uh, you want to sort things out whether, uh, according to whether it has a R or not. So you have three terms, one, two, three, and these two have R's in there. This one doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these, and you get 6 equals to 4R plus pi r, which gives you 6 equals to 4 plus pi r. And then r is equal to 6 over 4 plus pi. And then we plug it back into to the original, but before that we should we should figure out what h is, right? h is uh, <coughs> h is three minus six <coughs> plus pi minus six pi over two four plus pi. It's pi over two times this thing. And because 2 and 6 cancel, so you get 3. And since these two have the same denominator, let's just make everything at the same denominator. So this will be uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times pi is 3 pi over 4 plus pi. That, that's what this first one will turn out to be. This is 6. That's uh, minus 3 pi. So 3 pi, 3 pi cancels, and you get 6 over 4 plus pi. Mm. Interesting. So both of them, both h and r has to equal to 6 over 4 plus pi. And plugging these numbers, uh, yeah, plugging them into s, you get 2 times 6 over 4 plus pi squared, then plus 1 half pi. 6 over 4 yeah. plus 5 squared. You can simplify further, but I guess uh, for this to be practical, you should use a calculator to find the approximate value.